Welcome. My name is Sebastian Kotofana. I am Associate Professor for Anatomy at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And I would like to bring your attention to a recently published paper in the Aesthetic Surgery Journal where our research group retrospectively investigated 213 cases of pre-injection aspirations that truly happened and were positive. The study revealed that the blood was visible in the needle hub within less than two seconds, in some cases even without performing aspiration at all. The study also revealed that priming the needle was not an influencing factor because there were cases where blood was visible in a needle hub with and without being primed. And the study also revealed that the type of product did not influence the outcome because there were equally distributed cases with and without the respective G prime category. Interestingly, from the anatomical perspective, is that the location where most frequently within the face was observed a positive blood aspiration was the piriform fossa when trying to volumize and augment the nasolabial fold. This study is, of course, not free of limitations because the performed injection techniques were driven based on the experience of the first author of the study. However, the results revealed that within the proper combination between needle size, product, and injection technique, it is possible to see blood within the needle hub within less than two seconds. Recently, this study received a commentary by an Australian consortium of co-authors, which indicated that pre-injection aspiration is a futile exercise. Yes, pre-injection aspiration does have its limitation, but just think about from a patient perspective. Would you not do everything that is possible to increase safety? The answer is yes, you would. And of course, within the limitation of all of the different measures that we currently have at our hands to limit severe adverse events, with injecting small boluses, injecting at slow speed, all of these components are based either on research or on anecdotal experiences like continuously moving the needle or the cannula within the tissue. Whichever opinion you have about pre-injection aspiration to perform it or to not perform it, please keep in mind that patient safety comes first. Thank you for your attention.